Who's Rex Tyler? Well, after seeing the DC Legends of Tomorrow season 1 finale, I did a little bit of digging because I was curious myself. It turns out he's a pretty big deal in DC Multiverse. He's in fact the hero known as Our Man. Hello everybody and welcome to Fear Explains. My name's Harry and today we're going to be delving into one of the biggest mysteries in the season 1 finale of DC Legends of Tomorrow. Who is Rex Tyler? If you don't know, Our Man was one of the founding members of the Justice Society of America. However, he started out as a biochemist. He originally started out um, during his college years at Bannerman Chemical, and he accidentally discovered a miracle drug that could give him superhuman abilities, but only for an hour, hence the name Our Man. He called this new drug Miraclo, and he decided to keep it a secret so he could test it on himself without anyone else knowing about it. However, in order to further test the powers that were given to him by the drug, he decided to patrol the city of Appleton as Our Man. At first, he went by the name The Our Hyphen Man, but later ch just changed it to ha Our Man. He first started out by placing an ad in a newspaper stating the man of the hour would help anyone in need. And from there, he became a success. In 1940, he became one of the founding members of the Justice Society of America, along with the Green Lantern, the Spectre, the Atom, Dr. Fate, the Flash, Hawkman, Over and the years, Sam. Our Man's been part of several different teams, including Uncle Sam's Freedom Fighters and the All-Star Squadron. Later on, he'd find out that he was addicted to the drug that was giving him his powers. Ever since then, he's been trying to find a way to cure his addiction while still retaining his powers. The first method he used was to create a non-addictive version of Miracle, which helped for a while. Then later on, he used a black light lantern in order to activate what was left of the residue inside his cells. However, thanks to Johnny Quick, he now realises that his powers come from his metahuman genes, and now all he has to do is, say, man of the hour to activate what's left of it. However, Miraclo had its side effects on him, and in 1943, he retired due to the stress it put on him. However, he would still go on to help the Justice Society of America occasionally. Okay, now let's have a look at his role in major story arcs. In the storyline of Zero Hour, Rex was killed by the ex-hero Extant. However, the third hour man, Matthew Tyler, who was an android, took his place at the last minute, saving his life. Now let's have a look at his alternate versions. On Earth-21, Rex was still a superhero, even after President Eisenhower put a warrant out for his arrest. Unfortunately, he was killed along with four police officers who were chasing him. After this event, the Justice Society were given two options. They can either disband and hang up their capes, or register their identities with the government, similar to Civil War. In the end, though, they decided to disband. Okay, so now let's have a look at his powers. The Miraclo drug gives Rex superhuman abilities for only one hour. However, he's given super speed, enhanced strength, and night vision. The only weaknesses are that the drug only lasts for an hour, but it takes 24 hours for all the toxins that are in his body to come out. I know in this video we covered Our Man 3, however, I'll be touching in on him again in another episode where we have a look at a different Our Man variants. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment and subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Until then, Harry out.